Hey guys, and welcome to Doom 3 BFG Edition. Now, with all this talk of Doom, uh, well, Doom, really, um, I did get the game, and I was not overly satisfied with the game's performance on my graphics card. Uh, it seems to run fairly well, but when you start recording as well, yeah, no, 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 not so much. So, we're going to save uh, the new Doom until I upgrade my graphics card, which... Uh, I don't know, end of the year perhaps, maybe. Um, yeah, hopefully try and get a 1070. Uh, pretty nice card, actually, but uh, costs a lot of dough, so that's hopefully going to be my treat for myself at the end of the year. Now, this is a game that I played extensively back on the OG Xbox. Uh, I played a hell of a lot of this thing, what, 10 years ago. Um, now, what I didn't play, though, I didn't play the expansion pack. Which is kind of interesting. Um, the expansion pack was apparently very good. However, I I never played it. But I did buy this when it first came out, the BFG edition. Uh, there is a big improvement in this game that I do like a hell of a lot. Um, and that is you actually have a flashlight attached to your armor. Now, in the original uh, game, you had to walk around with your flashlight out and you couldn't have a weapon out whilst you was doing that and you get attacked by monsters and a lot of pansies and bitches basically were moaning about this in this version saying um, the game's no longer scary because you don't have your flashlight out you, you don't get that panic anymore but the game was never scary anyway so that's kind of a mute point but anyway, we are going to dive into Doom 3. I feel like playing a shooter. I don't think I've played a shooter on my channel before. So let's go into it. Uh, I did test it out to make sure it was all working and all that, which it absolutely is. Uh, yes, uh, we're going to play Doom 3. Now, this is not Doom as we knew it when it came out. Uh, this was Doom, completely different Doom, but still fun Doom nonetheless. So we're going to go on Varen. The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest I think that went to corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. Excellent. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Sounds good. I take it we're going to be working for this wonderful company. This game looks freaking gorgeous as well back in the day. Absolutely stunning. Not bad now, to be honest. Darkstar with U07063 passing through 38000. Roger, Darkstar. Descend to 2000. Set speed. Contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. Excellent. See, Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True, but this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. <laughs> if that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. What the Truger, huh? Counselor. Well, okay then. Yeah, not sure what difficulty you're playing it on. Um... I did try and put it on veteran, but I think it might be on normal difficulty. Let's have a look. Is there a way to uh, find out? Aim assist. Ugh. Yeah, disabled. Good. Um, okay, that's fine. Okay, we might not be able to change it. It doesn't matter. Um, okay. All right, one thing at a time, Milado. Now, what have we got here? This is our ship that we came in on. Loads of detail in this game. This was one of the things that was very, um, uh, I suppose, 
No, yeah, next gen. Uh, all this interactivity with these panels, like um, all the information, and almost like they have their own cool little operating system that you can play around with. Very, very cool stuff. Anyway, let's go. Uh, excuse me, my lad. You gonna let me in? Of course not. I'm going through the wrong door. I have Captain played this before, I swear. Hey, buddy. Premier research facility. You to look like a monkey. Please proceed run. directly to reception. And you should too. Oh, no worries, my friend. You. <laughs> yeah, you're getting off this rock, alright? No worries there. The Mars, Thanks, buddy. Where do I get my grenades I'm gonna need at? You, to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. you got it, buddy. Take a second. Sure. Okay, let me get this started. Go on, then. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. Sorry, bud, but I have to breathe. All right, bias. There we go. Good. You're cleared for entry. Excellent. Oh, hello. The spider bots. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. Thank you. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Banks. and military Please report operations. To central archaeological Goal number one eh? of the is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. Of course it is. To achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all uh -huh. times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always Makes sense. Hey, it's that monkey guy, John what Smith. and others are doing. If no, you I see. notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC. Can we turn subtitles on? Uh, 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 uh. Game options. Disable flashlight shadows. Really? Enable, please. Uh, always run. Enable. Aim assist. Auto weapon reload. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, okay, that's all fine. It doesn't look like there's a um, subtitle guard. saying. They are here to help, no matter that's how a pain. large or small the problem is. Oh, good. Our station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. Oh, I do. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Excellent. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and well, the solar system. Cool. If you need more details, terraforming. please see your human resources manager. If you are a guest, Ugh. you may bring up any issue with your appointed UAC. Human resources. Thank you. And have a nice Don't make me talk to those guys. Uh, yeah, some interactive computers allow you to download information to your PDA. We don't have a PDA yet. Oh, spider bot. Um. Hmm. Right, let's go. Now, I played this originally with um, my best friend at the time, uh, which is kind of funny because I was. Welcome to Mars. Fourteen, I think. You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Thanks, buddy. Okay. There's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you well, get clearance for okay. any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. No it's problem. Just that way. Follow the signs. Will do. Personal. Right, okay, yes, yeah, so we now have our PDA, which is a very low-tech tablet, very chunky low-tech tablet. Yeah, I played a lot of this, I must have been about 14 at the time, uh, on the original Xbox, and I played it with my best friend at the time, who was in his 40s, he is an ex-SAS, uh, um, bloke. He's actually a demolitions expert, he was a great guy. Anyway, there's an easter egg here, if we read this, I have processed all incoming, uh, personnel. I can't read it myself. Uh, from flight 4409, PDA was issued to the Marine on board and I sent him directly to the Marine Command at blah blah Kelly's request. The other two UAC reps are, were sent to the conference room at Betruga's request. Now supplemental, this is the Easter egg up. I would also like to add that this new transfer is exceedingly rude. 
He has hovered over my... Oh yeah, hovered over me reading everything I typed. Stop it. Well, okay, but I'm only stopping because you're not going to type anything more interesting. You're just going to re repeat that loop. Yeah, this guy I used to play a lot of games with. Uh, I used to drink with him all the time as well. Crazy, crazy times. Um, he's a little bit nuts. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean nuts as well. I don't mean he, you know he's a little bit unhinged. He was crazy, but that's neither here nor there. Because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they <laughs> want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. Well, good. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, <sighs> even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Oh, you better believe it. Let's go. Okay, right. So, something weird going on around here. Uh, let's go back and download that information, actually. Um, oh, hello. What's going on in here? Ah, this place. How could I forget? Picking up PDAs is useful. What do we pick up here? Yeah. Maintenance update. Log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays, dated November 10th, 2145. Uh huh. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. Well, that's good. Did, however, have yeah, another said he just lost experience it. while I was down. Shipped home this week. Shortly after Lose finishing one, the first coupling another. adjustment, no shit. I heard. I wonder who's going to bring to Bravo. When I went now. to investigate Whispering. the sounds, I just hope I found nothing. Check the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in that Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, They're mumbling, the weird looks. A bit the off. The place is just plain creepy. Hmm. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. 396. I have to remember that. Maybe I should get a pen. Ugh. A kingdom for a pen. 396. There's a lot of codes we need in this game. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Now behind us is an arcade machine. Super. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher. Three. Yes. <laughs> it's basically the original Doom, but not really the original Doom. Uh, sadly, this is all there is. But uh, I had endless amusement with this punching turkeys. Could have been called Chicken Choker or something. They could have made it funny. But uh, also, that Easter egg through there where we were reading Matey Boy's uh, email, that always reminds me a little bit, oh, hello, a little bit of um, the Half Life Easter egg uh, when you finally get to the black. Oh, we can hear someone whispering. Satan, is that you? Possibly. Let's get out of here. Why can't we move? We can't move for some reason. Now we can. How odd. Okay. Yeah. Um, interesting area there. But yeah, when you finally get to Black Mesa in Half-Life 1 and you can push the alarm under Barney's desk and get him in loads of trouble. That used to bring me joy. Listen, buddy, you don't Hello, have bud. clearance for this area. Move along. God damn it. He's got a nice looking uh, weapon there. Hopefully we get our hand on one of those a little bit later on. 
Have I really gone the wrong way? I have. This place is maze-like. We need to go this way. Past the freaked out guys. This was the toilets. Yes, there we go. Look, all I do is freaked out guys. Motors when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't <laughs> ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Really? I didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was here one minute, gone the next. Lucky bastard. <laughs> well, be careful what you wish for, guys. I'm just saying. Impressive things are going to happen here soon. Mark my words. Oh, hello. Uh, exciting volunteer positions are available. Hmm. Credit compensation offered for qualified individuals. See many opportunities to reward yourself in spare time. Alright, what can we reward ourselves with? Email. Oh, there's a lot of reading in this game. Right, Lost PDA. Adam, please take more caution in securing your personal data assistant. It turned up in the Lost and Found three times this month. Christ, he's worse than me. As you know, your base security clearances are stored on that and it becomes a serious security issue any time a PDA is lost. Failure to secure your PDA could eventually result in your termination. Ooh. Adam, your report is long overdue. Record an audio log for what you've done today on your maintenance shift and send it to me immediately. I know you recoded the cabinet today and it's imperative that I update my master list with a new code. I do not want to tell you again how important it is to record these codes. Mr. Banash, uh, I have some great news for you. Your name came up in our last management meeting as a possible candidate for our Delta Labs outreach program. Ooh, Delta Labs. Uh, as you probably heard, you are, uh, we are conducting some very exciting and important experiments here in Delta. Your supervisor recommended, uh, recommended you as a good candidate. In fact, he insisted you would be perfect for the job. I have reviewed your file and I agree with his assessment. You'll make a perfect test subject. <laughs> uh, so he probably wasn't kidding. Um, our work here is very important to the UAC, and you should feel privileged that you have a chance to be part of it. Delta Future Systems. P.S. Remember, volunteering is the best choice. I hate to invoke, invoke Clause 12A of Section 543 of your employment contract, which, if you're not familiar, allows us to appoint volunteers. Well, that sounds rather shady and shitty, doesn't it? Um, okay, let's go. Right, let's go find Kelly. Attention. Get a bollock in. Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management report Office to for Alpha. No worries, buddy. On me way. We would like to request another security team here in Delta. You Just would? Thank you. Why so many security teams in Delta? Ah, what could possibly be going wrong? They're serious discs, aren't they? Pick up video discs, eh? Have we got any video discs? I guess that was one. Ooh. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. Okay. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. All right. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please I see. report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. Okay. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme Ooh, caution. Nice. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Okay. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. <laughs> Take good care, and okay. good luck on your new assignment. No problemo. That's what we saw On in the beginning. The 
Ooh, plasma gun briefing. Representing yet another great accomplishment of the UAC, the Series 3 plasma gun is an extremely versatile medium range combat weapon. Excellent. Harnessing the exhaustive resources of synthetic plasma, the plasma gun meets the critical requirement of low cost, abundant ammunition for today's highly mobile military. Capable of sustained firepower due to the latest advancements in plasma injector technology, this weapon's lightweight and high yield make it desirable for most combat scenarios. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. Excellent. Safer worlds through superior firepower. That's uh, something I can get behind. Okay. Yeah, the plasma gun in this game is probably... What keeps going on? Almost as if the controls keep reversing. Very strange. Um, yeah, probably my favorite plasma uh, weapon in any game. It is a true sight to behold. Oh, oh what's going on here? Looks like he's missing his face. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I have to watch out for that. I want to try and keep my face attached if possible. Hey, buddy. Right, let's go to Marine HQ. Probably going to get a bollocking, but that's fine. Um, come on Take then. Your sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. Sounds you might good. Be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you followed orders so far. Yeah, all right, Sarge. Be here at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Best in the business. Remember that. When you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Do not hurt him. What is that standard procedure? Is it slapping the scientists around? Well, I guess we will find out. Any PDAs for me to read? No time to talk, bud. We both got work to do. Yes, well, I guess so. One of us has a lot more work than the other. Come on, little drone friend. Where are we going? I hope you do know where you're going, because I sure Attention, as hell don't. UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credit? Go on, bud. Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. Yeah, I don't like the idea of volunteering. Volunteering sounds like a bad thing to do in this place. Well, here we are. Lovely. The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Are you sure about Please that? Take advantage of our quality medical care services. Quality medical care. Hmm. Excellent, we are here. What have we got here? Look under look everywhere for secrets. What is Crouch? Crouch is C, that's really strange actually. Right, let's go. We have a scientist to find. Poor little guy, all lost and alone, scared and terrified. Uh, that's okay. Evening, bud. Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Thank you. Most unexciting place on Mars. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I. Excellent. Ooh, secure. can I have one of these SMGs? Okay, oh, one of those shotguns. Well, we gotta start somewhere, now, I suppose. Combat. Yes, we Let are. Do a radio test. God damn! You can get Mars those Tech somehow. Excellent. Good. But I can't remember how. I don't think it's yet. I think you get Looks you can like come back later. Decommissioned com facility. Just follow the main passage to the underground junction and straight out. Okay. Quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, you're all set. Now, there's a lot oh, I like yeah. about Keep the weapons. Mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. <laughs> uh, supplemental. We can shoot all the civilians if we want. Uh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, but you you can get some funny dialogue by shooting them. You don't but... have a lot of time, Marine. You need to move out. All right, Jesus Christ. Hey, bub. Yeah, there's no real point in shooting them. You do get some um, PDAs and things, but uh, let's just say we get those PDAs uh, later on anyway, because 
stuff happens. <laughs> Not surprising. Uh, yeah, these weapons, I don't know, they sound good and they feel good, but they look really weird. I don't know, the pistol just looks like hey, a block of metal. Hey, bud. You're looking for the scientist, right? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we are. I'm not sure you want to find him. Where's that? You see, uh, never mind. Why? Dick. What have we got around here? Yeah, it doesn't matter for like, shooting people. I don't think he'll tell us uh, anything interesting anyway. Now, is that the game to load, or was the game? Yeah, this I'm not one. Not sure you want to find him. You mm. see. Uh, blah 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 blah. Now let me pass. I'm not going to murder anybody. Look at these. I think these are armor shards. Yes, armor shards. Good old armor shards. Now, in the new Doom, uh, you can't reload your weapons, and I appreciate... Well, there is no reloading of weapons, and I appreciate why they did this, but I actually like re cool, like, cool reloading animations and things. It's not hard. I see. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. It's quite funny if you shoot this guy. What? what? Hey, what the hell's going on up there? I don't know. Why don't you come down and find out? But we're not an asshole, so, you know. I mean, well, okay, we are an asshole. We're a Doom guy, but we're not that much of an asshole. Ooh, downloading PDA. Now, was this the 396? 396. No, it's not. That's lame. Uh, hello. What have we got here? This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. Okay. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some, uh, unexplainable things. Mm hmm Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. Understandable. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. Damn. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. Okay, buddy, no problemo. Right. You're not going to believe this, T. Brooks. You'll not believe this. Actually, you probably will. The late night security detail couldn't figure out how to open the security cabinet from the security office. I spent the next morning walking them through the steps in the security panel. They didn't realize that you could open both cabinets from one security panel. Where do they find these people? Oh. Unit supervisor. Uh, November security update w uh, for your area. Underground maintenance has been completed. Please update the security cabinet code in the energy stabilization unit to 531. Oh. Is that what we need? 531? Yeah, I guess it is. Well, oh, we got some shells. No shotgun, though. The shotgun in this game. Oh, my God. The shotgun in this game. Good happy times were had. This guy's not keep any of these machines running? Yes, sir. It's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Just <laughs> do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing what everything. a dick. I just can't explain some of the things that have been happening to the system. It's weird. Just get it done. You, sir, are a dick. I hope you meet some horrible death somewhere. Alright, we can't go back through that. Let's go. This game's very pretty as well. Even all these years later. I remember playing this on the original Xbox uh, back in the day, and it was some mind blowing stuff. Jeez. Do you make a habit sneaking up on people? Yes. Yes, I do. It's an occupational hazard. Sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. All right, buddy. 
I don't need to be scared. I got a gun. Alright, explosive. Oh, hello. Flashlight is now attached to the armor. My god, that is amazing. I don't know why people complained about it. It's such a cool feature. Uh, it does actually run out of charge now, which it never used to. Um, so, um, I guess there's that, but it's not much of a big deal, really. Here, in Chief. You're the new guy headed for the old comm center, right? Get yeah, something like that. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center. Okay. Airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. Your suit's got plenty of oxygen. Oh, let's hope so. Yeah, medikit. What else you got here, buddy? I've got some bullets. Plenty of bullets. Well, okay then. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh yes, yeah, the uh, the um, the airlock. Actually, guys, we will save that for in the next video as we're out of time. Well, guys, I hope you're going to enjoy watching this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy playing this. Uh, I fancy playing a shooter. And in truth, actually, I fancy playing this game for over a year. I've really had the hankering to play it. Now just seems like a good time. Um, hmm. I'm, get, I'm looking forward to seeing how much of this game I remember as well because I played this game to death. Uh, we played it on the hardest difficulty as well, so uh, we should be okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.